So it seems the people have spoken. The people have decided on what my next playthrough should be. And by a landslide, by no surprise, the winner was this game right here. Let's see what it is. Produced by Nintendo. Nintendo. Presented by Shigesato Itoi! Whatever. Shigesato Itoi. Earthbound Zero. Now, a lot of you people are wondering wait, why is this Earthbound Zero? Why is this not Mother One? Well, for those of you who don't know, this game was actually officially translated by Nintendo. It was just never released. A copy of the game was officially auctioned off, sold for about $1,000, and it was dumped into a ROM. Now, the only way you can play this game in English is either with a pirated cartridge that's usually hundreds of dollars and illegal to purchase, or by using a ROM in an emulator, also illegal. So basically, the only way you can play this game is illegally. And I actually am using an emulator for this game. <sighs> but there's really no other way I can play this game in English to show you guys. Um, there's also a fan translation of the Game Boy Advance version if you guys want to try that, though. But I can't really give you a link to that because I wouldn't know where to find it. I can't give you a ROM for this game. You'll have to just use Google to find it, alright? So with further, without further, further ado... Ugh, I can't talk. I'm like, without further ado... We're gonna get started! Let's do this! Let's play! Mother 1 slash Earthbound Zero! Alright, now I'm going to use the official names based on the translated names used in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Because some of the spellings are different in the Japanese version. So we're going to name him Ninten. What is this boy's name? Ninten. Now, real quick, I want to show you something kind of unusual. Um. You can't name these char you can't name the characters the names of other characters in the game. Like there's a a monster in this game called an Ulrich. Let's try naming this character Ulrich. What is this girl's name? Let's put in Ulrich. Ah, I spell it of course. Let's try putting in Ulrich. Watch what happens. Oh. Of course it's not going to do it when I do that. Ah. Of course it's not going to work when I show that, alright? So let's just put in her default name of Anna. Basically, I guess Ulrich isn't one of the names that it does it for, though, but there's some characters where it'll say a character in this game is already named that. Please name them something different, and I guess Ulrich isn't one of the names, despite memory serving me right. I know that if you were to name her Nancy, it wouldn't work, though. But anyway. So their boy's name. His Japanese name is Lloyd, translated to spelling uh, L-O-I-D, but we're going to use the spelling, the American spelling, as put in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So we're going to name him Lloyd. And the last boy's name, he is Teddy. One of my cats is actually named after this character. Kitty! He's named Teddy. My other cat's name is Kirby. My other kitty! Thank you very much. And your favorite food. There is no other answer in the Mother series besides steak. Well, I'll accept omelets, but we'll get into that another time. So we are Nintendo, Anna, Lloyd, and Teddy, and our favorite food is steak. Is this okay? Yes, okay, ska. Now for the beloved story. Ah, the story. In the early 1900s, a dark shadow covered a small country town in rural America. At that time, a young married couple vanished mysteriously from their home. The man's name was George. The woman's name was Maria. Two years later, as suddenly as he left, George returned. He never told anyone where he had been or what he had done. But he began an odd study, all by himself. Murderer of your wife, Scott Peterson! No, I'm kidding. As for Maria, his wife, she never returned. Just what I said, Scott Peterson! It's grandfather! Never mind. Eighty years have passed since then. And we're given little exposition as to who this boy is that we've taken control of. Yes, this is an NES game, so the graphics are going to be very primitive. A little bit more primitive than other NES games at the time. 
But anyway, let's go ahead and get going. What is this? Oh my god, the lamp is attacking us. What is going on? Lamp drew near. All we can do is just use our regular attacks at this point, or defend, or try to run away. But why would you want to run away? It's only the first battle, and it only does one damage to you. Now, real quick, before we uh, really get into the main game, I'm going to have a warning for all you guys. A lot of you started playing Earthbound on the terms that, you know, it was a cool game, had a lot of quirky dialogue, and, you know, it was an easy game. But I'm going to warn you right here, Mother 1 is not like that. Mother 1 has still got some witty dialogue, and it's kind of quirky and all that. But it's a lot darker, and it is also, it is not an easy game. It is not easy. It is actually very hard. Hang on a second. Brother, I'm so scared. The lamp seems to be alive. Sister. Oh, I'll fix this lamp for you. Check it. Question mark. You can actually just walk into it and fight it, though, but if you time right, you can do the check thing. Anyway, um, yeah, this game is actually very hard. I'm not kidding right there. There's a lot of stuff that can just unexpectedly kill you. There's just... This game is pretty tough. I would only recommend it to hardcore RPG fans, people that think they would really like this game despite it still being really hard. Um, people that are into old school RPGs like Final Fantasy, the original. Um, oh, another thing I'd like to recommend, um, if you're into the Dragon Quest series, especially the uh, original Dragon Quest on the NES, you will definitely like this game because dra the original Dragon Quest is what inspired the uh, creator of the Mother series to make this game. So if you like Dragon Quest, you're going to like this game. I can tell you that much pr that much, pretty much right now. Help me, she says. Alright, our other sister. Unlike Ness, he has two sisters. Doll drew near. Fight the doll. We're fighting our sister's doll. Yay, this shows masculine-ness. I suffered one damage. Wow, you're so powerful. Uh oh, doll smashed us. I got smashed by a doll. That is embarrassing. Especially my little sister's doll. Alright, now if you battled the other lamp, you're always going to get a level up from this fight, so I highly recommend fighting both lamps and then fighting the doll. Because after you beat the doll, the other the other lamp in your si other sister's room goes away. So, definitely want to do it in the order I did it in this. You win. And I advance to the next level, just like I said I would. Advance to the next level, like I knew they would. Or oh, whatever. Fight increased by 3, speed increased by 2, wisdom is increased by 3, the stats are different in this game. Strength increased by 3, force is increased by 2, max HP is increased by 3, um, max PP is increased by 1. The stats are named different things, I don't believe there is an equivalent of vitality though, but I believe force is the equivalent of guts, however guts cannot save you with 1 HP, and there's no scrolling HP, like, you know, in Earthbound, so if you get hit by an attack that's going to do moral damage to you, you're going to die. There's no way to save you. The phenomenon has stopped for the moment. Alright, let's talk to our sister now that everything is safe again. I was scared to death! Wow, from a doll. Wow. Oh, wow! Check what's hidden inside the doll! Now, this is important. You must do this. Check it. Inside the doll, an intense spot in an old music box. As the music box wound up, a melody began to play. Do. Nintendo, remember the tune. Now... Just like in Earthbound, we have eight melodies. The melodies aren't exactly guarded by bosses, though. They're hidden throughout the land. So that's, in a sense, of how this game is different. So anyway... Let's talk to your mom! Alright, Nintendo, are you alright? Hey, Dad, what is happening to our house? I wish your dad were here right now. Maybe... Telephone! Nintendo, please get it. Guess who? Your telephone. This is your dad. Wow! Deja vu, isn't it, guys? Well, it seems like a poltergeist. I'm not exactly sure how to... But your great-great-grandfather studied PSI. Okay, those three sentences strung together made no sense, though. However, he's saying that a poltergeist is in, was in our house. Um, he's not sure what to do, though, but... Our great-great-grandfather studied PSI. You might be able to find something to help in the basement. You might, you might be able to find something in the basement to help, but I left the basement key someplace. Can't remember exactly where. Anyhow, son, you are my only hope. It's time for you to go on a little adventure and explore the potential of your powers. Powers not to be taken lightly. Nintendo, go for it. Remember to come back and check on your family. Whatever. Bye. Oh, and phone me, and I will save your progress. Wow, phone me. I didn't know phone was a verb. 
Call me whenever you want. Slam. Alright, so we're going to end up this first part of Mother 1 right here. Question is, will Nintendo find the basement key? What will it become of our hero? Find out next time. See you guys later. And of course, you know, typical stuff. Subscribe to videos in the corner, big yellow button, give me good five star views down below this video, and be sure to check out my other videos if you like this one. Alright, I will see you guys later.